Okay. Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with my Kermit-like voice. A um, couple of customers saw the listing for repair services for the Samsung. What are those Q and Q for G9, G9, Samsung G9 series of uh, color monitors and. A lot of them want to send boards, but they're asking, how do I open the darn thing? So what I'm going to show you here is how to open this particular one, but pretty much all the other Q9s that I've seen are very similar. The thing that you need to know is that it's a snap-on. First, got to lay it down. I don't show you how to remove the back. It's pretty simple. I, there, were, there were four screws here. This one I, I will not show. It's pretty self-evident. The hard part is, is this one in. And it's going to help a lot if you see it um, with the back removed so that you know what you can do and cannot do on the edge. I don't uh, pretend I'm going to give you the best possible way to open those. I will tell you how I open them and uh, show you what works for me and what it doesn't. The first and most important thing that you need to know is you're going to be inserting a large screw I put it something like not this let me see where it is and there first obstacle to make the video there it is uh, you're going to be inserting large screw around the edges and basically this is a snap there is a plastic tooth that goes underneath this metal wire and basically you're going to be pulling it out and to do that you're going to be inserting that thing here moving closer and just prying it out carefully and nicely there is a place to start with uh, on both sides on both ends of the monitor here and here and this is where you start pulling but it's very important that you don't push through here because this is part of the screen and if you stick that inside bead here on the edge or here, you're going to kill it for good. Otherwise, the most that you can do is maybe break some plastic that is not so fatal. But the important thing is to look at what's inside and where you can and cannot simply put the edges. This is about two inches. You know, until that tooth here, underneath here, you don't put anything in. Here on the edge you can slightly, this is the end, the end of a board here, it's, it's really hard to go very deep in, but pretty much this whole corner and the other same corner, you don't want to put anything in. Everywhere else, what you're going to do is you're going to stick something between the cover that is on the top and in here, move closer to where the plastic tooth and the wire goes underneath here and so what you're going to do is you're going to be just inserting and prying and the way that works is hold on a second sorry took a little break and uh, i will try and show you how i am doing it with a with a lamp with a cover closed Press it, those lock into place, this is how they are, and your goal will be to push those little teeth, you can see them from the previous views, and at the same time pull that up. But you don't start in the middle, you start here, as I said, at the two things where you can insert that all the way in. And what I do is I take a few old credit cards. Or you can use other flat screwdrivers, the more that you can. Remember, you don't insert anything here. You see that that little piece of the screen that I showed you, the ribbon cable that is showing here. You got to be very, very careful. This is the sole reason for this video is basically to tell you that. So you can insert that here, move it up, and then you continue. What I do is I get to this, push a little bit. Turn it over. If you have another card, that's the best. You will find that two or three work more than push again a little bit, pull up, push a little bit again, the tooth here, pull up. See, this is where it goes. Again, next one, push a little bit. And again, if you have another card, you just insert it here. 
you don't try to push too hard because it's still going to be locked on the, the opposite end. But little by little, you do that, you insert more cards or other screwdrivers. Cards are really good for that, so that they prevent it locking. And when you do all that, you go all the way to the other side, and then you've done half of it. Now, the other, the other thing, the, the snaps that I explained, there are no... The snaps here are plastic on the on the both sides and on top. The snap is done with a wire. So after you do this and you raise it up, let me first close it. Actually, it will make a snap sound when it locks. There you go. It did lock. So I'm going to show how that how that opens. Okay. So I insert again very carefully here. It's got to be just enough for this to go in. And now the wire goes somewhere in here. And there may be, I see they, they sell special tools for opening those, etc., etc. For me, one large screwdriver is enough. You just move it sideways nicely and firmly. And when it starts getting hard, that means it's close to the point where it's locked. And this is where you give it a little, a little push. Corners are a little tricky once it locks there. This whole thing is op open now, this whole long side. So one of the top ones locked. And what I do, because the side is already open, I again insert in. Remember, there was nothing on here. You just slightly push it up until it locks. The worst that may happen is you may get a crack somewhere if you do it. If you overdo it, you may get a crack on the back. And that's really not a big deal if your monitor is not working and you're hoping to get it working. Uh, a crack on the back is really. It, it rarely happens, maybe on your first attempt if you screw it up. I haven't had one in a, in a long while, but I recently had a Samsung Snap TV that it just did have a crack on the back. It doesn't affect anything. The, the one thing to remember is very careful here. You can insert and once it gets close to the point, you just pull it upwards a little. You got a white screw driver and a few cards. That's all. Uh, we repair those, we repair those, we don't repair those, or at least never did, I, I guess we can, but nobody cares about them. And that is all, hope you learned something, hope it will help you, and best of luck.